Between the rise of the Kimrog Empire and the tumultuous Demon Wars, there was an enigmatic era. A time when brave souls traversed oceans and continents in search of glory, riches, and power. Let us tell you of the days of high adventure. Leaving our family's homestead was nothing new to me, as I have made this sacrifice for the family in the past. The others have more attachment, but nonetheless, I too will miss Akura and their family's home. I vowed to protect mother and sister, and that is what I will do. Arriving at the port, we met with Captain Fu, captain of the Celestial Queen. Captain was of grand stature and size. His clothing reflected his standings as a nobleman, but yet he had an edgy side to him. After some formalities, the captain showed us about the ship. Our quarters and mothers were within close proximity of each other. Accommodations were better than I am accustomed to. Yet, I feel there is something odd about this whole adventure. I will need to stay vigilant on all sides, make sense of it all. And the first step is to place myself in the care of the crew. What better way than to be the heart of all things on this ship? Making friends is better than making enemies. I must succeed in gaining the crew's trust and admiration. Even though I know it might lead to an altercation or two, I'm not a sailor or navigator by any means, but I did acquire that we were traveling north, making our first stop to Nicaea. Then the ship travels to a few other ports, and one is Emron. There, the Chen family has their holdings, which we met during dinner. Mr. Chen's family is invested in mining and has a great, great yield of ore, but he's not allied with the Osari clan. As he made mention. Interesting facts. Hmm. Their status failed them from having such investors. Passing some time in the cruise mess hall, I found myself in familiar company and drink. I can't stop once I start, but this time I have something more to worry about. Mother and sister. The brother's whereabouts are unknown to me, but they seem to be capable in whatever they're doing. I just want to make sure they don't bring too much attention and focus on us. I will do this for all of us. After a short while, the captain shows up and breaks our band of brotherhood in song and drink. God. Well, not a song, but gamble. I did lose. It was intentional. Gaining favor is more important than gold at this time. Meeting Lin Shu and challenging me to gamble was fun. He seems like a great candidate to recruit. Zhao Chan is also a great asset. He seems genuinely a good person. A good day after all. Finally met with the brothers and talked about their findings. Interesting outcome. I knew there was something more to this, Captain. Time would tell of his intentions for us and for this trip. I need to establish a more secure ending if there's anything to happen before we reach Nicaea. Well, hello, it's me, Wizzy. I'm back once again to remind you to subscribe and click on the notifications button and also watch videos that are over there. And then don't forget to tune in to the next episode of whatever show you are just watching. And crafting videos and DM tips and pro tips for vlogging 
and all sorts of gaming things. 